Hey, Mikey here, and we are going to bring it down, and I'm going to show you some nostalgia. All right, I am going to show you my collection of oversized jumbo Pokemon cards today. Um, I've been collecting these guys for a while, but my collection has like tripled since uh since I've been on the Dariums channel because uh we opened so many oversized boxes that I'm just able to obtain a lot more jumbo cards a lot easier. So we're going to go through and I'm going to explain to you exactly what I have. Cards that are close to me, cards that are not yet close to me, but I do have a lot like like cards that I've obtained by just doing box openings. So let's get this going and get this started. All right, here we go. So this first card I have is a Venusaur. It's an oversized Venusaur. It's a box topper from uh, the Expedition set. They gave it away. So these, like if you bought a box, uh, this card would actually be on top of that box. Like as soon as you open it up, it'd be laying there right on top of the box and it's yours. So it was like a gift for buying a box. They don't do it anymore, but uh, there is a few box toppers that are huge. And then they have a few box toppers. Like there's a, a dark Persian who's, it's from the Team Rocket set, uh, Team Rocket Return set. That was a box topper also. And now we have Rocket Sneasel. Some of you guys may remember this from a year ago. It's been a year since I've done a collection video, but uh, last year I showed you my my little ones that I had uh, for my, my little collection. I just bought a new binder, bought actual sleeves for them. And so now we are official, we are official now. Now this right here is the Rocket Sneasel. Um, this one is the winner. Uh, they had a best of series where um, it was called Battle Zones, I believe. Um, Battle Zones where they had uh, tournaments. It was 2003, this one's from. Um, the winner got uh, oversized and they get, got a smaller card that says winners here. I don't have the smaller winner card, but it's close enough, close enough. So we have an over, uh, over our uh, size Zorark and it has a special holograph feature to it. The Zorark, this is actually from the Zorark uh, Illusion Collection, I believe. And this is released, I don't know, 2012, 2011, something like that, which is cool. Uh, going on to, I have two of them because I bought two boxes, so I kept both. Uh, now we have the starter um, figure boxes. Um, it's like the, the outstanding Oshawott and a terrific Tet Pig boxes. Um, I actually have a box real quick. I'm be right back. Right back, right back, right back. I'm still here grabbing a box off our shelves. So yeah, so it came in a box just like this. We still have our, we still have a Tet Pig left. Um, so it's really cool. It's really cool. I love this box back in the day. And it has the uh, Ted Pig here. And it's basically, you're the owner. So you write your name here, and you're Mikey's Ted Pig, which is really cool. And then you can name the attack, and then it does 200 damage. Now, these cards uh, aren't legal in tournament play at all, but they're really, really cool to collect. So, And they also have the little hologram feature on it just like the Zorak card did. And then we have the Snivy, and it actually has all ver all three versions. So it has the basic stage one and the stage two version of each of the starter Pokemon, which is really, really cool. This is the Zorak and the legendary Pokemon. This is actually from the Worlds of Illusion uh, promo. This is the Worlds of Illusion promo. Um, I don't, I don't remember exactly what, I think I got them all around the same time. So I'm thinking about 2011, 2012 is when this came out. They actually don't have like, well, this says 2011 right here. So 2011 is when it came out. Mikey, just look at the bottom of the cards and they'll tell you exactly when you got it. Cause I got them during that year. Next we have the Zora and uh, the Zora and the Celebi, which is actually from the Zora Celebi movie which is really, really cool. 
um, which actually right now I believe it's playing on po uh, Disney XD, so uh, check that out. Uh, me and my friend went, and they didn't want theirs, so they gave it to me. So I have two of those, which is really cool. Uh, next, we're going over to the Palkia Dalga Legend card. Uh, this actually is supposed to be two cards. If you are familiar with back in the day with uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver sets, they actually had special legendary set, uh, legendary, whoo, special legend cards. And the legend cards actually are in two pieces. And so if you look, they still are technically two different cards because they have two different set numbers right here and right here. And then right here it says Palkia Dog Legend and then up here. And so basically you have to get both cards in your hand and then you play them down on your bench. Um, this one is actually from, I believe, Triumphant. Now we have the Dark Rye, and um, uh, he's from Diamond and Pearl. I don't remember. This is like 2008 or something like that. These are these are older. I should actually put these like before all this stuff. I don't know why they're not there because we have the uh, Dark Rye, Palkia, and the. Um, Reggie Gigas and stuff. These all should be at the beginning of the book, which I'll have to fix when we're done because this is back in the Diamond and Pearl series. So, uh, this is the Arceus, which the Arceus or Arceus. Um, this card is so cool. Um, you are, it says right there, you may have as many of this card in your deck as, as you like. So, that means Arceus, you can have. If you want to play 50 Ar Arceuses and 10 Energies, you can play 50 Arceuses. It's just it's ridiculous. This is a cool, cool card. A lot of people played, uh, a lot of people tried to make this card work. Um, and then there's one for each type, which I have. If you've seen any, uh, saw my last collection video, I actually have all of them. And when you actually put them out, it causes a ripple. So here's the beginning of the ripple, and then... If you put the two other cards here, and then two more, and then two more, and then two more, it ripples out, which is in a cool, cool pattern. Um, we have Keldeo EX here. Keldeo EX is from, uh, that is Boundaries Crossed, I think. Boundaries Crossed. Uh, Russian Ability, which is so cool. I loved it so much. I played Russian a lot. Um, uh, Secret Sword. I play, I play Keldeo Blastoise, which a lot of people play Keldeo Blastoise, but that was my deck for, for that time. And then we have the V Create Victini. Uh, he was in a box set from 2011 also. Um, I don't, I don't, he's, he's just a Pokemon. <laughs> he's nothing, he's not anything big or special to me because Victini is a good Pokemon, but I don't really, only thing I liked about him was when he was a flip teeny. When you can flip your, uh, you can you can reflip your attack flips, which was cool. We have Dark right here. Dark right is actually from the Team Plasma box. He is uh, from 2013. He came with a version of him, this Dark Ride, and then a Garatina uh, also, which was really, really nice. I love this art so much that I'm like, definitely it's going to be in the binder for sure. will be in my collection because the binder's new. We have a Deonce EX. Deonce EX is, uh, is from XY44. This is actually one that um, we opened up for a video. This Gallade EX is actually from a Wacky Wednesday that I did, which is so cool. Uh, M... Absol is actually from another Wacky Wednesday that I did. Uh, someone was like, oh my, you have to get the Mega Absol. You have to get the Mega Absol EX. And I was like, okay. And so I searched and I searched and I searched. And it was so hard to find. They actually repackaged it and reshipped it. Like like Pokemon repackaged it and re released this actual set. So it was easier to find, but I didn't buy it then. I bought it when it was still hard to find. So I ended up paying a little bit extra to get this box set and then it came out. I'm like, oh gosh, I can't believe you guys re, re um, like reprinted it and repackaged it and made it cheaper and I was so sad, but it's okay. Sorry, I'm not upset at all. 
Now we have the Rayquaza, which is the Mega Ascension one, which is, mm, eh, I don't really like it, but um, it came out in 2015. These are the Mega Swampert and Mega Bla Blaziken. These actually came out in like a super premium box. It was a huge box and it came with a playmat, which was really cool. It came with a uh, Swampert playmat and a Blaziken playmat. And I loved, loved both of those playmats. I have them. Um, these are actually mine. Um, so I opened up these and I have the playmat still. I have a playmat. I have too much, too many collections. I have a playmat collection too. It's just ridiculous. All right, Flygon. Flygon was one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I actually opened this a while ago. Um, this was before the channel, and I had to collect it because I ended up playing Flygon a few times, and I actually really like this attack. So, um, I mean, I don't. the The attack is okay, but I like the ability. So, so you could just have them switch it out and be like, "Voice of the Sands," boom. Now we have Mega Aerodactyl here in EX form. We have the Rock Drill dra uh, Dive, which I have never ever played this. We've opened we opened this up for the channel, and so I actually just was like, it's mine, and I'm putting it in the binder. Mega Mawau EX. I have not I haven't played Mega Mawau before. Uh, this is actually from opening it up in a box set, so that's good. Uh, we have the Ash Greninja, which I actually opened up for a Wacky Wednesday, which I thought was really cool. We have Mega Beedrill. Mega Beedrill is just the opening that we did. Same thing with Arcanine Break. And these cards are just so cool. Like, they're, they're huge. Like, they have, they have basic energy this big, but they're so rare and so expensive. Um, Mega Mewtwo EX. That came in a box set. Uh, we have the Kangaskhan came in a box set. Uh, we opened this up. We opened up this Gengar. We have Primal Kyogre, which I'm missing Primal um, Groudon. So I know I'm missing some cards. I know I'm missing uh, I'm missing a Mewtwo EX from the older sets. I'm still trying to find oversized cards. I'm missing a lot of them. So if anybody knows or seen any cards that I'm missing, just put them in the comments below and let me know, hey, I didn't see this in your collection and I will definitely try and get it. Uh, Scizor EX, you guys are probably familiar with a lot of these because you've seen a lot of these on our channel. So, like and rock GX. Beware GX. Oh, Espeon GX, all right, so. Uh, these were opened up on the channel. I didn't have the privilege of opening them because I was out of town, but it's okay. I, uh, I'm so happy I was able to obtain these, though. I was like, Mikey, you need at least two of them. And so I got two of each, the Umbreon and the Espeon. So this is really, really awesome that they re they, they printed uh, giant oversized cards of Evolutions, And uh, it just made my day when this came out. All right, moving on to the Decidueye, the Incinero GXs. These are the full arts from the full art uh, boxes. I also have a Permarina. We have the Tapu Koko GX. We have the Serena. And this is the Charizard GX that I went uh, searching for. We, we didn't get any Charizard GXs until way later. Target had, Target had uh, Charizard GXs first. And so I was searching targets, so many targets. And so finally a friend was like, hey, Mikey, there's a target that has Charizards that's like right down the street from you. And so I was like, all right, let me go sit there. And the lady wasn't even done packing, unpacking the boxes. So I sat there and waited until she was done unpacking the boxes to get this Charizard GX box. Um, this is the Feramosa and the Buzzwell GXs from the premium Bic uh, sets which is pretty cool. We have the Kamo OGX and the Full Art uh, Zorark GX with the trade ability, which is so good. Everybody is playing this. Like somewhere, somehow, someone's trying to fit in in any deck that they have. So this is the Righteous uh, Riotous Beating and the Trickster. 
Um, we have a Savali GX, and that is it for all of the the box opening ones. That was the big chunk of the box opening ones. Um, I did not get this from a box opening. This was actually given to me by a fan. Um, his name's Anthony, and uh, he, he was looking through my binder because he's like, "Oh, oh, oh! You didn't? You don't have this one?" He's like, "I'll give you this one." And so uh, I think his name is Bass Slapper. Uh, 47 is his uh, YouTube channel. And so I told him to sign it. Now it means so much to me. So thank you so much, Anthony, for the card. That is so cool. And then I was able to get the Lunala GX by myself. And then this one. You probably saw this a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, I opened up a Jumbo uh, Mewtwo Y. And I was like, all right, you definitely, definitely need to go into my collection. And so it's now in my collection. And that is it for my oversized cards. But I also have another treat for you. I know they're not official. They're not official, obviously. But I have two. It's from it's from an actual like advertisement thing. I have a Guzzlord GX ultra size card and I have a Cartana ultra size card. This was actually given to me in um, London when I was judging in London. A fan actually had talked to the company that was actually, um, they were uh, displaying this and I was eyeing it all weekend. I was eyeing it all weekend and I was like, I need that, I need that. And then I didn't get a chance to talk to the people to see if they actually give it away or if they were selling it, but uh, they were giving it away and they had already promised a person named Tom. He's a fan of ours. And we were actually walking out of the venue about to catch the, uh, the underground, uh, trains, to set, uh, train. And he looked at me, he's like, Mikey. And I was like, hi, how you doing? I'm like, I love, I love, I love your oversized cards. And he was like, you want it? And I'm like, no, it's yours. He's like, I'll keep the rest of this, the the display, but I would love for you to have this, Mikey. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, yes. And I was like, all right, do me a favor, sign it. So he signed the back of this Tom and then um, then gave it to me. And then I tried to fit in my luggage as best as I could and brought it back to the States. So uh, I will be coming at you guys with a whole bunch more. I have a few more collections that I am super super excited to show and uh display uh, like my i have a gumi collection obviously i have my eevee collection i have my uh, regular ex and gx uh collection now so i'll definitely be showing those on the channel in the up and coming months we're going to try and do a collection video every month once a month do a collection video for you guys because we really really want you guys to see what we're like what we're doing like what we're collecting so all right, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'll be sad, but you can give us a thumbs down. But be awesome, subscribe, click that notification bell so whenever we upload a video that you guys are notified and you're the first one to comment on our videos. Thank you so much for all your support and thank you for this great year. I will talk to you guys later. See you later. Bye.